If this video helped you, remember to like it and of course subscribe for more. So let's get in. Hold your Windows key and click the P. And now you will get up a little menu where you can switch sources. This is the first thing we're gonna do. And here we can set it says to set to duplicate, try duplicate, uh, try extend. And if it was on show PC screen only, uh, well, that might have been the issue and you can clearly see there. If that didn't work, unplug and plug in your monitor's cable because your monitor is of course connected to uh, your computer. So check that the connection is working. Um, and if it's not working, go to your monitor and click the source key. And on the sources, you can switch between different sources. Now, this is a, a television monitor, so I use my remote for this. A lot of gaming monitors have the screens uh, on, uh, well, have the buttons on the screen or under the screen. And you can see that worked fine in this case. Right, so if this didn't work, uh, you will might need to check if your connector uh, is dirty. If the plug where you plugged in, uh, it was dirty or if the cable is dirty in any way or if, if it's kind of uh, like that. You can polish it up a little bit and try again, blow it out with some air, see if it works. Now if this didn't work, check that your cable isn't damaged anywhere and check that your cable is working with another monitor or via another device. Maybe it's broken. If you use a stationary computer, make sure it's plugged into the graphics card in green and not the red uh, motherboard. Right, so let's move on. We shall now go into device manager. So you right click your Windows uh, little flag and just go into device manager, search it up. Uh, and then we go into, here you can see display adapters. Right click both of your display adapters, uh, select update drivers, right click it and search automatically like that, update driver, search automatically for drivers and install any drivers if any and maybe this was uh, the solution for you. So if that didn't work, we're going to search for Windows Update because sometimes a HMA, uh, HMAI or graphics driver is included with your Windows Update. So search for Windows Updates here and see if uh, any such thing was released. And then you can, uh, well, download. If you have any updates, you can download. You just download, install them, restart the computer and check again. And uh, when you've done that, remember to check the sources, like the first tip we made. Uh, and it may help you with uh, switching the sources because sometimes it's set to PC screen only. It's actually the most normal um, issue here. The next step we can try is to go back to system here. And then you can see display on the top of the list here. Click display and into display you can see the different modes we have here. Click identify and you can see if any of the screens are identified but still black. Uh, and then you can change the settings we changed earlier here. We can see extend these to place, uh, we can move them around, show only on one, show only in two. Try the different ones because sometimes it detects it there. Uh, see if there is any flicker on your screen. Again, your cable connection or your plug might be a little bit off there. If your sources are right, of course. Sometimes you need to perform a hard reboot of your PC. What you do is you hold down the power button on your laptop or desktop computer for 15 seconds. In some rare cases, it's 30 seconds, but 15 seconds for most systems. Then you release it and you can start the computer again. And this is a very normal fix for uh, stuff that's not working with a connection. So if it's still not working, we might need to dive a little bit deeper. So check under your PC to get the serial number uh, and get into the manufacturer of your computer. Or if you uh, have a custom desktop computer, you'll need to use the motherboard, uh, well, the motherboard uh, serial number. So basically, uh, see another tutorial to check that. And when you found your device, in my case, a Acer laptop, we can go into the driver page, select the operative system we have or as close as possible because this is an older PC and just check for eventual drivers. That might be the issue. You can see we have VGA drivers there. So if my screen was a VGA screen, I have to have that driver to make it even work. Uh, and if it's not VGA, in this case, this is an HDMI, we might need to download the general chipset driver 
And if there is any HDMI or graphics driver on your manufacturer's page, download that. But I'm gonna download the chipset drivers and install them again, because sometimes these make it so that they don't detect uh, the, uh, well, screen. Now, if all else have failed and you tried it multiple times, you can go into the manufacturers and check for a BIOS or firmware update. And you'll need to download and install that. Now, this is a little bit risky, but in some times it's unfortunately the only way to make the monitor uh, work again. And when you download and update BIOS, make sure that your computer is not unplugged at any time during the process, follow the instructions clearly, and make sure that you have power all the time and don't force it close because you don't know what's happening. And if you follow all these steps, you should find a solution to make your secondary monitor be detected by Windows 11 so that you can extend it and work on that too. If this tutorial helped you, please leave a like and do subscribe for future ones. If you want to support this channel even more, check my webpage jimmedesm.com support and you can support me there. This is your host Jimmedesm and we are signing out.